Hi, Pam Dyson with the St. Louis Center for Play Therapy Training with a play therapy tip. I like to make play therapy games that I can use with the children I see in my practice. I think this feelings, memory, or matching game is a really, really fun one. I bought a box of poker chips. They're pretty inexpensive to buy. And I got a Sharpie. And what I did was on one side of the poker chips, I drew a feelings face. So I came up with four or five different feelings. They look really good on the red ones. They're easy to draw on the white ones. Not so visible on the blue ones. So I had some uh, various colored uh, little stickers uh, that I used instead. And I put those on there and then I used a uh, fine tip Sharpie to draw the feeling faces on there. Over time, those are probably gonna peel off and not be as durable. You could probably also use a silver colored permanent marker. It would probably show up a little bit better than a black one. And also, usually there's a uh, insignia or a brand name in the middle of each poker chip, which can make the surface a little bit bumpy, but uh, you can usually work around that and be able to make a, a feelings picture that you can easily see. So you put them on an equal number of poker chips, turn them with the feeling face down, and you would take turns playing the game uh, with a child or in a group of children where they would pick up one and identify the feeling that one's Mr. Angry and they would try to find another one that was the match and if it's a match then they get to keep it and also as they find a matching pair then they can share a time when they felt that feeling as well. A really affordable way to make a matching game. It's going to be durable. The poker chips are going to last and hold up for a really really long time.